welcome back to the channel. I am so, so happy to be sitting down and filming again. And if you're wondering how I got this look here today, make sure to stay and watch the rest of the video because this look is my new holy grail look. I am so happy to be sitting down here and filming a makeup video once again. Recently, I just started filming makeup TikTok videos again and it inspired me to do a sit down get ready with me because a lot of you seem to be enjoying it. So today I wanted to do a full on get ready with me and I'm going to share all of my favorite makeup items right now. So I feel like I haven't posted a full YouTube video with my new red hair. How do you guys like it? It is currently a few washes in so it's faded just slightly but I'm still in love with how bright this cherry red is and I feel like such a hippan yoda <laughs> with this hair so yeah anyways I have my little makeup pouch with me so I am gonna start with some acne patches because I've been breaking out recently I have a pimple right here and right here and to prevent it from getting worse I always love me some pimple patch this one I got it from Olive Young I'll stick it on there and I'm just gonna clean up my brows using this little guy here we all know what this is So recently I got brow micro needling, but I actually really didn't like the shape or how they did it. So right now I'm trying to grow out my brow hair, but I'm just trying to keep the surroundings a little bit tidy. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this Shy 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 eye cream. This one got sent to me as a gift and I actually really really like it. It's supposed to be like a banana concealer eye cream, but I actually put this all over my face. It kind of gives that BBCC cream vibe and I kind of use it as like a base to my makeup. And I find that if I use this, it gives me more coverage. Make sure to wash your hands before you do your makeup. I did wash my hand right before I started doing this. We're going to be touching our face a lot and we don't want our skin to hate us. So I'm just going to use my clean fingers to rub everything in. Next step, I am going to go in with my Laneige cushion. This one is a very popular cushion in Korea. I used to use it and I kind of put it aside because I personally really liked just liquid foundation better. But the compactness of a cushion foundation, you just can't beat it. So I have reached for this again. I actually did get this Amuse cushion foundation as well. I absolutely love this product, but I just got it in the wrong shape. But we're gonna use this as a base and we're gonna use the Amuse cushion as a highlight Also, my lips does get really really chapped So I'm gonna be using this view 92 lip balm my friend gifted this to me and I love 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 this product It is very thick and it keeps my lips moist so when I open the cushion, it's like this. I, I get the Laneige Cushion Foundation in the shade 23. So I'm just gonna dab it in like this. And I like to do a really thin layer and spread it out so the cushion foundation doesn't get cakey and make it look like it's your real skin. When I did the personal color test, they told me that I'm shade 21, but 21 is way too light for me. This Amuse Cushion Foundation is the 21, and this 23 is the perfect match for me personally. In Korea, they're used to wearing your foundation shade one or two shades lighter, so I think that's why they recommended me the 21. They want you to have that bright face. They have the opposite culture from North America. They would rather be pale than to be tanned. My skin is glowing and I have applied my cushion foundation. It literally looks like my natural skin IRL and I just love, love cushion foundation these days. And I used to hate them. So we are gonna go in with the Muse cushion foundation. Here is what it looks like inside. This is one of those mesh cover ones. Honestly, I love the formula of the Muse cushion foundation. I'm definitely gonna grab this in my shade in the future. So I'm gonna apply this right underneath my eyes just to bring the attention of my face to the center. And I'm gonna also apply this on my nose bridge and just my T-zone so it can highlight. And my chin and upper lip as well. Blend it all together. 
And surprisingly, the Laneige Cushion Foundation and this foundation blends very, very well because some formulas don't mix quite well, but this one, it's really nice. And this step is really unnecessary, but I like to do it right now because I do have a couple pimples. I am gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me and cover up that dark spots or pimples. So I have a dark spot right here. I have some here as well. A little bit more on my dark circle area. I'm just gonna use the Amuse Cushion to blend this out. The base is looking absolutely flawless. Look at how glowy our skin is and it looks so healthy. I just recently got this Colorgram Cool Tone Contour Stick and I tried this out for the first time yesterday and I really, really like it. So we're gonna use this to contour our nose. It looks something like this. I did the influencer hand, guys. <laughs> I'm a beauty guru. <laughs> and I'm just gonna try to contour my natural nose shape. I'm gonna start from this brow point here. And I wanna have that cute button nose, so I just do like a circle here. That's what everyone seems to be doing. And it's been working for me as well. So we look now pretty crazy, but we're gonna blend it out and it's gonna look great. Now on the opposite end of this, there is like a little blending sponge and I actually really like this to blend it out I'll just kind of tap 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 not swipe because that will take the makeup off it looks pretty harsh right now but after we blend it out we're gonna use our cushion foundation sponge to blend everything in Okay, now the nose contour has been blended in flawlessly. I'm gonna also use this to contour my jawline right here. I personally only do this if I want to look snatched on camera. IRL is not that much of a problem, but today we are filming for YouTube, so I do want to look snatched for the camera. I'm just gonna blend this in with my cushion sponge. Okay, now that our nose and jaw is looking snatched, we're gonna move on to our blush. Currently, this Fui blush is in my holy grail. I have been in love since the first second I tried this. So if you guys need like a baby pink cool tone blush, I definitely recommend this guy here. This is in the shade 05 Love Me Light. It is a very interesting formula. It's kind of like a squishy jelly powder. I don't even know how to describe it. If you see one IRL, you just gotta have to feel it for yourself. I'm just gonna take a blush brush like this. Instead of swiping it like this, like a normal blush, I'm just gonna actually press this in so the brush picks up the pigment like this. And as you can see, it picked up the blush really well here. I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap right underneath my eyes on the center of my face. Look at how pretty this soft pink is. I am obsessed. Obsessed is an underrated word for this blush. We please send me your blushes. <laughs> and this is what we're looking like now. I am absolutely loving how this makeup is turning out so far. Okay, next we are going to clean up her eyebrows a little bit. I'm going to be using this Colorgram Eyebrow Pencil. My eyebrows are already kind of microbladed, but it, since it's fading so quickly, I'm just going to use this eyebrow pencil to fill in anywhere that needs extra love. And I'm just following the shape of my natural eyebrows so it doesn't look too funky. I love Colorgram because they're really affordable and their product is always really good quality. I love, love this eyebrows now. I'm just gonna use the spoolie to blend it out. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Colorgram Ego Salt Maker. I love, love, love this pencil. I have gone through so many of these. If you need to make Ego Style, get this one. So I'm gonna use the contour side here and draw on my Ego Style. It should look something like this. I know it looks crazy at the moment, but you guys gotta just trust the process. I look like I haven't slept for days. Next, we're gonna take the highlight side. It looks like this. I'm just gonna highlight here. I'm gonna, again, go back to my cushion sponge and kind of even everything out. Next, we're gonna go in with my Holy Grail powder. This is the Ipkin powder in the shade 21. And it's just a compact powder. I really like the dewy skin look, but I'm just gonna set the areas that needs to stay in put. But I'm gonna set my under eye. 
So my next holy grail item is this Fui eyeshadow palette. I have featured this a lot in my TikTok videos because this truly is the it girl. This is a summer cool tone palette from Olive Young and there is light to dark and more brown shades up here and all the shimmers are in the middle. Personally, I love this shimmer right here. So this one's more of a fine glitter. This is more like a pearly glitter and this is more like a chunky glitter. So first, I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade and put down my base. I brought you guys in even more closer so we can have an intimate eyeshadow session. So I'm just gonna apply the lightest pinky shade all over my eyelid. Next, I'm gonna go in with this second pink here. And I'm also gonna put this down all over my eyelids, but I'm also focusing this one where my nose bridge is as well. And I'm gonna put this shade under my eyes. Next, I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush like this. And with this mauve shade, I am going to deepen the look. I'm gonna apply this right where my eyeliner would go and connect this under here as well. And not using any extra product, I'm just gonna deepen right here to give more of that three dimension shape. And next, I'm gonna go in with this pearly brown matte shade here. I'm just gonna deepen this even more on the outer corners. So the look is definitely getting a little bit more smoky now. I'm just gonna use the fluffy base brush and blend it all. Okay, next I am going to be taking this egg cell maker but only the highlight part and I'm going to create a crease. Just kind of like a shape like this. When I open my eyes, I can see it. And I'm just going to use my fingers to blend the harsh edges. It should look something like this. And I'm going to go in with this fine glitter here. I'm going to use my fingers. I just feel like it just gets the most pigment. And I'm applying where I place that crease. Next, using this cute little flat brush, I am going to take the exact same shade and apply it in my inner corner and under my eyes. Honestly, less is more IRL. And I'm just gonna blend this out using my this brush so that everything is seamless. I'm gonna take my Lily by Red Eyeliner and we are going to lift our eyes with our eyeliner like so now we're looking super <laughs> okay so i used to really like drawing that inner corner eyeliner but today we're not gonna do it because i find that it doesn't look as good on camera for me so when i'm doing makeup for photos or for videos i've been only doing it for certain looks but instead, we're going to take this angled brush and I'm going to dip into this dark brown color and draw my underline. And instead of just following my natural eyes, I'm going to make them look bigger by drawing slightly under. Like this. Okay, now we have our catty eyes done, but our lash extensions are looking a little funky, so I'm just going to clean them up by using this coating mascara that my lash girl gave me. Okay, so now that our eye makeup is done, we are going to move on to powder contour. I'm going to take my Too Cool for School. This one is really beat up. I'm really using it to the bottom pan. So I'm going to take a cute brush like this, dip it into the second dark shade. A little goes a long way with contour. Look at how good we're looking. And I'm going to also take a brush like this. Contour our double chins off. I'm gonna go back in with that sweet blush and I'm just gonna top it up a little bit more. So, so, so pretty. I'm going to use this shimmer shade to highlight my nose. Just a little dot right at the center there. And I'm also just gonna do a little bit right here. So I wasn't planning on to do this, but I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty How Many Crystals highlighter. And I love this highlighter and adding it as like a little extra glitter. And we are filming a special video today. So I thought I needed a little bit of diamond sprinkled on my eyes. I'm just gonna take my fingers using this as well. Just tap, 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 tap. For real, for real, eye look is done. And now I'm just gonna take a little wipe and wipe off our lips. 
Oh my gosh, guys. I just realized I didn't bring my holy grail heart percent lip liner. So sad. But if you guys have the heart percent lip liner, insert picture here. It is my new holy grail lip liner that I found in Korea. It is really, really hard to find nude lip liners here. So when I discovered this one, it was literally life changing. So if you need a new lip liner, go to Olive Young right now and get one. But since I forgot to bring it, I will just skip right to the lip tint and I will be using this 3CE in the shade Single Cherry. And I'm just gonna DIY contour lip line my lips using this palette here. Let's go in with the lip tint. This color is just so, so pretty. I love it. And I'm just gonna use a Q-tip to blend it out. And we're gonna finish it off with this Dior Lip Glow Oil. It just feels so good. The second there's lip gloss on my lips, I feel like my life is complete. This is the final step of the look. We're gonna take this Code Fix On Spray, shake it real good, spray it all over. Oh, so good. Using this spray just melts all the makeup together and it just it's just so so nice okay guys this is the final look for today i am so so happy with how it turned out the makeup melted beautifully all together and what do you guys think of this look would you try it out yourself and if you enjoy this look please make sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel so so much i really enjoyed filming today's video and now that I have a new studio setting that I can film for you guys I feel a little bit more organized and more motivated to film YouTube videos Thank you so so much for watching if you stay to the end you are a real one And if you have any other questions make sure to leave it in the comments down below I really hope you guys enjoyed today's look and thank you again so much for watching Bye guys